I'm Joe Brennich. Welcome to part two of my ongoing video series that teaches people how to rank their websites using SEO or search engine optimization. This is my first time doing tutorials, so bear with me if I'm making mistakes here. Um, but basically, in this section, we are going to talk about on site SEO or adding keywords to certain areas of your website pages. Um, this is important because it tells Google um, what to rank your site for specifically. Um, so the first thing we want to do, of course, is find out which keywords we're going to rank for, and you learn that in part one, so if you haven't done that, go back and, and review. Um, and once you've decided on which keyword you want to target, pick the top two or three, and those are going to be the ones you're going to use specifically for your home page. The other ones are going to be used for other pages on your website, for example, tile and grout cleaning, upholstery cleaning, um, different services like that. Okay, and so... Um, one point I want to make is you don't want to rank your home page for 10 or 20 keywords. It will not work. You want to pick two or three and that's going to be your main keywords for your home page. Um, once again we're going to use the example of carpet cleaning Kansas City and let's go ahead and go over the uh, top five places to um, place keywords on your page. Keep in mind this stuff is a little bit technical so what I've done is I've put these five different um, locations um, into a list on this blog post um, so that you can copy and paste this list, email it over to your web designer along with a list of your keywords and say this is what I want to do. If your web designer has no idea what you're talking about you need to get a new web designer because this stuff is very important when it comes to ranking with search engines. This is very important for SEO. This is actually essential. So um, the first part, the first part out of five that we want to talk about is the page title. And you can see the page title right here on this specific website. And in the title, I place the two most popular keywords for Kansas City Carpet Cleaning, which is Carpet Cleaning Kansas City and Carpet Cleaners Kansas City. Um, this is also going to be where Google displays um, your search results. This is what's going to show up when you, somebody types in Carpet Cleaning Kansas City. So for example, let's do that, Carpet Cleaning Kansas City. And you'll see the number one here, one, this, this is this guy's title here, Kansas City Carpet Cleaning. Um, so not only is it good for SEO, but it's also going to be what somebody, it's also going to be the results that somebody sees when they type that into Google. So very important. Okay, that's the first one. The second one is the description. The description you'll find down here, right below the title. Um, in the description, you also want to place your keywords. So you can see this guy put Kansas City Carpet Cleaning as a keyword. Um, very important to have that in the description as well. Okay, That's number two. Uh, number three, you want to have your keywords placed in um, H tags is what they're called. Uh, basically, that just means these big bold um, titles that are located on each page. So, for example, here's mine: Carpet Cleaning Kansas City with a phone number. Um, I put the keyword right there in the H1 tag. Very important. Web designer will know what you're talking about when you ask him to do that. Um, second part is I want to put the exact keyword down in the body, somewhere in the body. Is this and so here's an example of this this website here carpet cleaning kansas city offers the best and most effective cleaning services okay keyword right there that's the keyword that i'm going for and it's in the it's in the body there so um for example um you want to also do the same thing for um a separate page here's my tile and grout page uh, i put tile and grout cleaning kansas city right in the h1 tag i've got it right up here in the title and it's also in the description. I've got it also right here in the body. Okay, so those are the the top four. Um, but you also want to place um, your keyword in what's called alt tags for each image. So, for example, this image here, you can't see it by looking at the website. But on the back end, I put um, I put a tag for this specific image that says um, Carpet Cleaning Kansas City, and this one over here, I put Carpet Cleaners Kansas City. So that's the fifth place you want to put it. Once again, it's called an alt tag. Um, any web designer should know exactly what that is and um, be able to place your keywords in that as well. Okay, and one more thing I want to show you is how to kind of scope out your competition and see exactly what keywords they're going for. Um, what you want to do is once you get onto their website, 
is you want to hold down the control key and then press the U key and you'll get this um, confusing um, screen filled with code here um, don't worry all you're looking for is this title and this is the exact same title that we see at the top of the website there but but you can see it here back in the in the code section you can also see the description down here and you can see in my description that I put carpet cleaning Kansas City here and so um, you know if you're searching around you want to check out what the competition is doing you can see if they're doing it correctly um, and this is how you do it you check out the title here and the description here the rest of it don't worry about okay now once you get all your keywords set up on each individual page of your website now it's time to start building links to those pages and so that's what we'll get, in, get into in part three um, so stay tuned for the next video